So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an at-home self-tanner for the first time ever. And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live it live. And tomorrow's far away, should I let the party fade? And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, let us go tonight. Hey guys, what's up? It's Maxine and thank you so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an at-home self-tanner for the first time ever, and I'm really excited to try it. I've always been kind of scared to do like self-tanner and even like going to a salon and getting spray tanned, I've always been kind of like iffy about it, only because years ago when I was in high school, I felt like it just started to become a thing and a lot of people were getting them and everybody was getting like orange and splotchy and, and yeah, I just feel like everybody was fading like patchy and so I always just kind of like stayed away just because I'm afraid that of course the one day I do it it's gonna go wrong you know <laughs> but anyways I've heard a lot of good things about the Bondi Sands self tanner so I'm gonna give this a shot today I'm so excited and I don't really have to worry so much if things go wrong because we're still in quarantine even if it's just for a couple more weeks whatever like I'm sure this will fade away and stuff but I'm sure it'll come out really good because I feel like everybody who I've seen use this like I've watched some YouTube videos and things like that everybody who I've seen use this specific one their tan looks amazing and olive skin and everything. So yeah, that's why I went for this brand because the reviews were saying that the undertone of the tan was like an olive and not an orange, so that's a plus. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so if you guys wanna see me do an at-home self-tanner for the first time at home, then definitely keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Follow me on Instagram, it's at Maxine Glynn. And okay, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so it comes with this little mitt. Right before I started this video, I took a shower, exfoliated. This room upstairs has like a weird ceiling, so I look really tall right now. <laughs> but I'm really not tall. Oh my god, the mitt's smaller than I thought, but okay, cool. Um, I've actually had this for a little while already, and I had it like in the bag, and at some point it made its way to the floor, and it broke, so I had to tape it, so hopefully it works. I'm so excited. Um, I'm pretty tan right now, I feel like, because it's like we've been trying to go outside. I live less than five minutes from the beach, so I uh, go to the beach a lot and stuff like that. So I'm pretty, pretty tan as it is. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm not scared, actually. Everybody comes out so good. Oh man. Oh, I didn't put anything down on the floor. Hopefully nothing drips. Oh fuck, I'm not supposed to put on my hand. Let me wipe it off. Everything I was watching said you're supposed to just take like the excess product that's left on the glove and um, and put that on your hand and stuff. This room gets really hot up here, so we have this AC unit in the window, <laughs> but I turned it off for this video. After I do this video, I'll take everything off and like do the stuff I can't do on camera. Okay, so then whatever you have left over, Go on your hand. Have a difference? Wow. Oh my gosh, there is. Holy crap, I'm like super glowing in this arm. Looks like I just went on freaking vacation. Man, I'm stoked. All right, try to get like the same amount, right? Oh my gosh. I'm like genuinely excited. Like this is not just for the video. <laughs> I don't know. like. I've had this for a while and I've just been procrastinating on it because that's just the story of my life. I'm a procrastinator. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Everybody's gotten such good results with it. Everybody looks tone AF when they have a nice tan going on. So dang, I'm glowing. I love this already. I look really tan. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to work and people are gonna be like, damn, where the hell did you go on vacation? I'm gonna do my back. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do that though, because Ryan went somewhere. He's not even here right now. I'm gonna do a windshield wiper. <laughs> windshield wiper. <laughs> or maybe I'll just have Ryan friggin' apply it when he gets back. So now I'm gonna do my face. And everybody I've ever saw do this said that whatever you have left over, do it on your face and don't add any more pumps. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
but I want to start off where I naturally contour my face because that will apply, I guess, more of it. It'll take the excess and put it in the spots where you would naturally be shadowed anyway. And then whatever I have left over after that, I'll put it on the rest of my face. I'm gonna look all types of crazy for the next six hours. <laughs> Another reason why I wanted to do this was because my birthday's tomorrow. And also, I, it kind of sucks because I really wanted to go to AC this year for my birthday. Like, all the times I've ever gone to AC, well, I've gone a couple of times just randomly for regular things. But I feel like most of the times I ever go to Atlantic City, it's always for other people and other people's birthdays and other people's celebrations. And I was kind of like super stoked to go this year for me for once. <laughs> I really wanted to go for like the weekend or the day and just kind of like invite everybody I know and just whoever ends up coming comes and whoever doesn't like that's cool too, you know. But um, yeah, so I ended up not being able to do that. So it was a little bit of a bummer. Not the end of the world though, like I'll just go another time. So I just figured if plans got ruined, why not? at least go into my birthday nice and tan <laughs> because that will be nice. I almost forgot about my ears. Imagine having super pale ears and like a nice tan body. <laughs> yeah, I'll just have Ryan help me with my back when he gets back. He shouldn't be long. I think he's going to get me a cake, <laughs> a cake for tomorrow. Cause I was like, aren't you gonna get me a cake? <laughs> I'm not gonna put my shorts back on. I'm gonna go pop on a dress. I'm gonna take this top off and put like a lot, like a, like a loose dress on because I just feel like it would be better. That thing will crease the tan or whatever. <laughs> I look like I went on the best vacation ever. <laughs> it's literally not fair though, like I actually wish I did. I love how this is coming out, like look at that. Alright, so this is the end of the video. I literally absolutely love how this friggin' tan looks. It's super olive. I know I look really crazy right now, but everything I've seen said that after about six hours, once you wash it off, it will fade nice and be looking like a real good tan, so I'm excited. I just slipped on this dress really quick. It's nice and like loose and soft and um, I just felt like it would be better than those shorts like hugging me tight and stuff. This is just nice and loose, it has little pockets. And yeah, I'll just hang out in this for the day. So overall, I literally love this. So far, so good. Hopefully it goes well. My legs are a little bit blotchy at the moment, but I'm sure that will fade away once I uh, take a shower later and stuff. That also might be just because all the videos I watched of people doing this at home said don't shave first, shave after. That way you won't have like weird dark spots in your pores. And I don't know, I have, I don't have that much leg hair at all. My leg hair is super like fuzzy, like my arm hair. So I didn't think that that would like apply to me, you know? So I shaved first. So um, if when I wash this off, it's kind of blotchy on my pores and I'll know that that's the reason why and then I'll know for next time not to shave first, you know what I mean? But hopefully it washes right off. Yeah, overall so far so good. My face looks nice and tan. I literally look like I went on vacation. I love that. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I know it's gonna get darker so I wonder like what it's gonna look like later. Oh my god. It's only been an hour and I look so dark. <laughs> Ryan keeps making fun of me because I look so dark. <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna lighten up a lot or if I'm gonna literally be this dark. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come back in about six hours after my shower and update you guys right now. <laughs> okay, so here's the update. I really love how this came out actually. Like it's a super nice glow and I feel like it's a very natural tan. I really don't feel like it's too much. I put like a clip in there last night that it was really funny because as it was processing, it was literally getting so dark and Ryan kept making fun of me. But yeah, the second I got in the shower and washed all the product off, I just have this nice glow now and I love that. So, so yeah, I really like how this came out. I feel like uh, it looks really natural and I definitely am going to do it again. So honest review, I really do like it. And the blotchiness that was on my legs is totally gone. Thank God. The only thing that I would say is I accidentally put a little bit too much on my hands. I feel like my fingers are kind of dark. Um, and I, I thought I was using just like the excess, whatever was like on the excess to get my hands. But um, yeah, I don't know. I still think I use a little bit too much on my hands. But yeah, no, other than that, like I literally love this. Like it's such a nice glow. It got rid of, I had like a little bit of tan lines here. And you only see a little bit, but um, 
from my bathing suit when I like actually went to the beach but it even covered some of my tan lines so I think this is good for if you have like an event and you have tan lines and you want to get rid of tan lines that really helps that but yeah I really like the glow that it gave me on my legs also I just think that that's like perfect I feel like my legs don't get as tan as the rest of my body so that's a plus but yeah I definitely love it I would use it again like I really love how natural the glow looks like I literally look like I went to the beach for like a vacation and stuff like that uh, I really wasn't sure, you know, how it would turn out. I'm glad that I don't look orange. I feel like I look more olivey brownish. I, I feel like the way that I naturally tan is very olivey brown. And I think that this is definitely very similar to the way I tan, like a very brown tan. Except for what it looks like on my fingers. It's a little bit weird looking on my fingers, but... That was my own fault <laughs> yeah anyways so that's it for today's video it's actually my birthday today and we're getting ready to go play mini golf we were going to go to the safari today but i guess we didn't do enough research we didn't realize that we had to like make a reservation and all that stuff and i don't know it seems like they're not open on the weekends i'm not exactly sure but yeah we can't go to the safari so we're gonna go mini golf over at the boardwalk and yeah, I'm just gonna get ready really quick, but now I have a nice glow going into my birthday and <laughs> that's really awesome. All right guys, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I post a new video every Tuesday at two and follow me on Instagram, it's at Maxine Bland. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh. Take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me breathe